Hey folks, how you doing? Welcome back, it's Charlie. It is Sunday, May 27th, the last Sunday of the month, 2018. And I am here at our local farmer's market on the intersection of Raymond and Holly, between Raymond and Holly and South Fair Oaks and, and Holly. I used to come here quite a bit. I This is actually my first time back in, oh, criminy two years maybe two and a half years uh, actually I just <clears throat> I just tasted I just bought a big beautiful avocado um, it seems to have shrunken in size although um, it's pretty big during the the summertime but the last recall not so much as during the winter time you know the cold weather and and the rain what have you so it's uh it's it's nice it's really nice although i think maybe a lot of people go to the one in south pasadena i'm gonna i'm gonna get to south pasadena maybe this thursday because that's that's when the farmer's market does over there and it's it's actually quite quite large so and they got a little bit of arts and crafts here it's really really cool gourmet tamales very cool, very cool. It's very, very, look at that, it's really, really cool, look at that. Mickey, my Disney child. Uh, and uh, they got a lot, a lot of produce and a lot of good stuff around here. Like I said, it seems to have gotten size smaller, but I think it's because the summertime hasn't really picked up. But I love Farmer's Market. I used to, when I had my apartment in Studio City many, many eons ago, I used to go to the Farmer's Market in uh, Studio City, uh, right in front of uh, CBS Studios. I lived right in back of, actually in front of CBS Studios. So, and I'd go, I think it was... I think it was every Saturday morning, yeah. And a lot of a lot of good stuff here. Yeah, I know, I know what one of you commented, uh, Charlie, Pasadena should be paying you for endorsing. I know, I know. But you know, I only endorse what I like and what I've experienced, so and the farmer's market is one thing that I definitely like. This is right here, obviously the farm. This is where I got my avocados. Look at these things. That's, that's the avocado I bought. It's very, very creamy and delicious. And actually they also have uh, some ruby red grapefruit that I just tried and it's super sweet and super delicious. A lot of the vendors also have uh, uh, testing. They'll give you a taste test. Look at these beautiful carrots. Look at the size of these strawberries. You have no idea how huge they are. It's pretty awesome. Rhubarb looks really good. You know, for some reason or not, I don't really like too much rhubarb, but you know, every now and then when I get a good pie, the cilantro looks good. Kale, the beets I don't like, but they're good. The turnips. These right here, look at this. Look at these carrots. Look how beautiful they are. Not not farm raised like uh, Del Monte or whatever. Just naturally grown. Rosemary, all oh, those. The cebollas look good. The mint. It's, like I said, it's, it's really awesome here. It's fantastic. Um, definitely during the summertime, they pick up, they pick up and, uh, it gets bigger during the summertime. And then, uh, towards that end over there, they used to have, uh, pet adoption. They used to have, like, uh, puppies and kittens and stuff, which was really cute. Loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it. 
So I went this morning to Central Park for uh, Church in the Park. Church of the Nazarene uh, out of Sierra Madre does a feeding uh, 9 o'clock in the morning for homeless and people that are in need. Uh, it's not just homeless people. A lot of people that are low income also go to these feedings. Uh, as you've heard me speak, it's kind of expensive here, so I'm trying to make ends meet. Um, seniors come in and, you know, they supplement them themselves here, which is totally, totally cool and the way it should be, so... Yeah, you know, it's uh, it's it's pretty awesome. So, so I went there and had breakfast and brought some food back for my buddies. Cuz it's like I said, it's a, it's a for us it's a long weekend. The library's closed today. Um, the library's closed tomorrow. We'll come back until Tuesday morning 9 a.m. So, you know, whatever. It's we kind of just look out for each other in that sense. So I came over here also to uh, Memorial Park because I have some friends that work for Grace Church Services out of the Senior Center. And at 12 o'clock they come out uh, with bag lunches and, um, you know, give to those that, that need it and stuff like that. So I came down here and got myself uh, a bag lunch and trying to bring back some, some food for my buddies and stuff like that. So, yeah. That looks good. They got, oh my God. They got pineapple. That's like my favorite tamale. Oh, yeah. And like I said, right now it's, it's small in size. But it'll get bigger. Towards this area, it usually has a tendency to grow out this way, towards Raymond Street. It's pretty neat. It's pretty fun. So it's not a whole lot going on. The weather's really beautiful today. It started a little uh, overcast and thick and a bit cold this morning. But it, it gave way to the sun. And also, I also made the comment uh, where, where it says, Charlie, you know, Pasadena should pay you for endorsing. I go, yeah, wouldn't that be funny? A uh, uh, homeless Pasadena critic. I guess stranger things have happened in life and especially on YouTube and life in general. So yeah, you never know, huh? That would be a hoot. Bone marrow. I love bone marrow. This is the bone kettle restaurant. In this place, I don't come here as often as I do the X and I came here maybe once or twice. We did the uh, chamber mixer opener for when they opened up. This is called Slater's 5050. They had the most humongous hamburgers. Uh, usually they're 50-50 they're because it's usually the ground beef and whatever pork or whatever special whatever it is that they're going to feature but this is a good place to come if, if you have a huge appetite their hamburgers are humongous and very very tasty i would recommend um Bone kettles, I have yet to go. Uh, I definitely would like to get there. I'd like to try their ramen, actually. They have uh, really good ramen. They have the uh, fantastic slow cooked pork broth, the milky, milky pork broth, which is oh so savory from what I understand. So I'm going to get there one day, but. 
you know what, um, maybe sooner than later. But you know what, also, I'll definitely post the link and uh, the information down there. Uh, I will definitely do Slater's because Slater's, like I said, I've, I've been there too, so, and uh, definitely Slater's. Oh, here's the, uh, you know what, that's another one. Another good place right there, the Crepe Studio. It's, uh, they've been open for, oh my goodness, I want to say almost three years. I've been there before. Really, really good crepes. I will, you know, I will post their information down there as well. And here, coming in here, coming up to my favorite local taqueria, or taqueria as some of you would like to pronounce. This is, this is King Taco. They've been here for, for quite a spell now. They got really, really good tacos. Street tacos, that is. Um, I come here quite often. It's it's very affordable and oh man, I love their carnitas taco. They have uh, like on cold days and stuff like that. They have something called champurrado, which is like a kind of like a uh, a corn meal type of starch drink. It's really good. It's like a Mexican favorite thing. This place I haven't yet to come. But this place, Tortu Tortugas, I've been, I was here when they opened up and their sandwiches are so huge I can't even finish. And they're delicious. They, uh, the menu's always really, really interesting. And they change it quite a bit. I will definitely definitely put the information down so if you're ever in Pasadena Tortugas and King Taco and Slater's 5050 definitely when I do go to uh, Bone Kettle I will uh, post the information again because I am dying to try this and they have oh they have agua luche lucha what flavors do you have I have all of them. I have mandarina, tamarindo, limon, and jamaica. Uh, tamarindo. You had me at tamarindo. <laughs> this is tamarindo. This is tamarind. Very, very good. Oh my god, this is so delicious. They're really good, right? Yeah, yeah. They're really good. They're made with agave and cane sugar. So oh my god. Yeah, this place is definitely, definitely delicious. Fantastic. So, come, come here. I, I wouldn't steer you wrong. I wouldn't steer you wrong. If I don't like it, I wouldn't recommend it. So, you know, upon thinking, I don't know. I'm gonna try because I don't have the access right now for the. Uh, that means I gotta pull out my laptop and do some some raw footage. Actually, you know what? I just might even go to to Starbucks uh, to load this up because being outside of the uh, the library, the internet access is very very weak. So I think I might just have to run down to Starbucks and um, go do that because I mean I can just uploaded raw but I don't think I'll be able to put any links because you can only do so much on YouTube from your smartphone it doesn't give you the same uh, the allowability of editing and putting up links and setting up the comments and and what have you so yeah before I I upload it I'll just uh, grab my laptop and run over to Starbucks so I can properly ed edit all this. So that's about it. Um, like I said, um, I have to cut my videos down to 
keep it under 30 minutes or at 30 minutes if I can. That's the reason why you see the videos, the vlogs coming up in two, two parts because I mainly do a lot of vlogging from my, from my phone, from my smart, smartphone, only because my Nikon camera, my Nikon camera is so, so he heavy and it's kind of hard to um, carry it around and swing it around. Honestly, what I want to do is I want to be able to, um, I want to get a, I want to trade in my, my Nikon camera and get a GoPro 5 because it's smaller and it's just a lot better. Plus it's 4K and uh, I can do a lot more things on the GoPro. So until I uh, make it big and uh, I'm able to buy my, my Nikon and a gimbal, I'm pretty much to the smartphone, which is why I actually earlier in the year spent the money to to get this LG phone because it's only because of the camera. But if I go back past 30 minutes, the video breaks up into parts, into a second part, and that kind of kind of sucks. So anyway, I'm going to end the vlog here today, my friends. From a very very beautiful day here in Pasadena. Leaving the area of the farmer's market. Heading back. You guys take care of yourselves. Take care of each other, but always take care of yourselves first. Love one another, trust one another, help one another, be kind to each other, especially now Nowadays, with everyone getting bad attitudes and angry at each other, we don't need that. We most certainly do not need that. To show a little love for each other, a little kindness. How you folks act towards me and treat me, show that to someone else. You know, especially if you have kids. Pick up your son and daughter out of nowhere, give them a kiss, say I love you. If you have any family, parents that are still around, especially parents, beautiful roses. Call them up out of nowhere, say, you know what, mom, dad, I was thinking about you, and I just wanted to take some time out and say I love you. All right, you have a good day. You'll leave them bewildered, but they'll appreciate it more than you could ever realize. Don't take today for granted or any other day thereafter. Live for that wonderful moment. Pull down your pants and slide on the ice. Frostbite or not. You guys are so wonderful. Need you guys more than in my life now because things are going to be so cool. Things are definitely going to change for me. And you folks keeping up that positive energy for me, giving me suggestions. Oh, also, real quick, I misinterpreted um, as far as sleeping at the library or the church. What was meant to be said, and I miss, I misread it. That's that's entirely my my fault. Was to the possibility of getting a, a security job at say the uh, library or at a church. Thank you, and I just wanted to. Uh, correct my misunderstanding that's what was meant to say and I apologize but I just wanted to make sure that I, I made that correction so coming into Centennial Square you folks have a wonderful and beautiful Sunday 
I love you all. Take care. Keep those comments coming in. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing in these short-lived series, hit the subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so you'll know when I uploaded a video. Tell your friends and family about me. Help me help those. And you will definitely have a good feeling when you help those. All right. I love you all. You take care and I shall see you soon. Bye-bye.